disturbing you. I just thought you might wish to talk. What made you think that? Well, you are a woman. You see, I understand such things. I as well love to share my innermost feelings. The sound of a woman talking incessantly without end is sweet music to my ears. No, I'm fine. I can see you're still adjusting to being here. I shall leave you to your thoughts, my lady. Sounds like one of Daphne's sweet mewing coos. Or it was a beep. Coming from your pocket. Daphne just texted me. She says she's safe, and she's got an idea how to stop the dandy highwayman. And so do I. Mrs. Angie Dinkley. I know not of this Mrs. Dinkley. Should I? Oh, yes. She is super rich. Richer than me, even. Oh, and she just loves to read and talk. She is such a talker. Oh, you would love her. Thank you, Daphne. I would hate for Mrs. Dinkley to feel left out of our little group. Ladies, I shall return. see who this mysterious woman stealer really is. The librarian? Like, seriously? But you're not even British. <laughs> I'm so confused. Why? It's simple, really. You spend a life reading about other people's exciting adventures and never, never, never have one of your own. It's awful. I'm so lonely. Jinkies? How did I miss that one? I never really had any friends growing up. All I had were my books. For years, I stayed in my room and read about incredible adventures. 